big fan of nachos. I love, uh, I love uh, time crimes. I love uh, extraterrestrial. I was a little bit afraid that coming in America, I would kind of trade down. No, no, nope. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no, we threw lighter fluid on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. I mean, did you guys play with it? Did you guys play with this? Uh, how to say that? Crazy dance or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I trusted it. I don't know that yeah. I necessarily. Uh, I mean, it, the whole thing did feel like one big play date, to be honest. Yes. I mean, it was such a lovely, enjoyable experience making this movie. Um, but I just, I trusted it. Um, I loved what I read on the page and them, and, and I know you had the same experience when, when I saw Nacho's movies. I just thought, oh my God, how many people, there's a handful of people who could actually pull this off, and this guy's one of them, let's go for it. Yeah, I felt that way just even with the short films. I mean, mm. like even in, even in his, you know, three to five minute, I was like, this, it's so clever, and, and he's, a, I think, a great actor as well, and performer, he's really, really fun to watch. Yeah, so he, I, he felt, I felt take, he taken care of and 100% trust and willingness to like just be a vessel for, for that hmm. clever brain. I guess. Mm. And I love the fact that you guys are kind of, uh, you're your big stars, you can do whatever you want and what you do is this small movie, what you do is, uh, is com working with this guy who has a very strange view of cinema. Uh, uh, why did you want to do that? Why did you go for that? Why You produce it. Yes, <laughs> I know. My mom turned to me last night. She goes, "Good job, sweetie." <laughs> Thanks, mom. That's what we're doing. Um, so I, I, um, a few years ago, Jonathan Demme showed um, Ben Wheatley's *Appeal* in England at the Jacob Burns Film Center in Pleasantville, New York, which is an amazing place. And I saw it, and I just realized that I wanted to see a movie like that for so long, and more that I wanted to be in a movie like that. And I just kind of cut back to you know, the early 2000s or the late 90s, whenever it came out, and how much I loved being John Malkovich. Yeah. I'm like, where are those movies? And so I wrote my agents and I said, I, I wanna make a, a film like this, and I described it. And like within two weeks, this script came back to me. And I read it and I said, I'm, I'm, I'm in if we meet and we like each other, and we did. And then a few months later, we were on set. And it was just, I mean, it, it, it really, as Nacho keeps saying, he's like, I should have a story about how difficult this yeah. was. But it was just a series of yeses that yielded a wonderful, wonderful film. And you, Jason? What was the question? I forget the question. Why you wanted to do it? Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the, uh, I mean, for me, it was it was 100% the, the, the script. And then, and then again, becoming uh, familiar with his work and the way he, you know, took what he saw in his head and put it out into the world in the short films. Uh, and then Annie and I have always gotten along. I'm a huge, huge fan. Uh, I love, uh, I love, and I said this to her last night, but I was like, I, I've always loved watching her go through stuff. You know, it's like there's certain people out there that, that um, you know, you like want to know what they're thinking. You know? and she's one of those great people that you get to watch think, you know, I mean, you're like Tom Hanks is one of those kind of guys. You know, I like to see these people dig themselves out of holes. And so then to have the opportunity to be one of those holes <laughs> <laughs> was like, I was like, oh, that's kid man. Jason, you're my yeah. favorite hole. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and yeah, and I felt, the, I felt the same desire for, you know, one of those movies, mm. and, and you just want to do a good job for this guy that sees it in his head, and, and, and that's it. <laughs> Is that what you say? Yeah. Would, Great answer. <laughs> uh, would you say that it's also you producing this movie, you involved in these movies, because Hollywood doesn't make them anymore? Because they don't go to these extremes anymore? Uh, someone, uh, someone I worked with said uh, recently, he's, very, he's a very smart guy, he said, I'm so, he was making a movie and said, I'm so excited to make this movie because the budget's small enough and the ideas are big enough and that marriage means that they won't try to pull it back to the middle. And the size of this movie is one of the thing best, one of the most enticing things to me about it because it, there wasn't enough on the line to make people want to pull it back to the middle. And and I get it. I get why people do that. I just think that in a way, um, we've made th there. So many movies have been made that have tried to appeal to everyone and sort of left people unsatisfied. That people have built up a distrust of movies. And for me, it's movies like this that get you trusting again. And um, because it's out there and it is creative and it might not even make total sense on the first viewing, but it works <laughs> somehow and it gets you thinking, but it's also fun and, or I should say, and it's also fun. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, um, it, it, it wasn't in response, I wasn't like, you know, trying to show Hollywood how to do it or anything like that. Um, that was, there was no uh, agenda other than I like to make movies that I would like to go to see. It's great when that happens, and, and, and I would be first in line to see this movie if it was with some other girl. 
And uh, uh, that also means because it's a small movie, because there's no distributor and everything, that Toronto is capital for the yeah. for the film. I mean, it went very well yesterday, and it worked very well, and uh, uh, the press screening, everybody loved it too. And uh, uh, but how? What kind of pressure is there on uh, on uh, on showing the movie here in Toronto? Gosh, the pressure is. I don't know if I feel the pressure. We we've, we've done all we could. You know, I, I feel more pressure if, if there was still some element that could change the, the response to it. Is we had very little control over over that. Me personally, you know, like mm. uh, so I, I sort of just give in. It's for we made it, and now it, whatever happens happens. I feel a little bit of pressure yeah. just because um, whatever minor currency I have um, was a factor in getting this film made. So you know, having that ability to say I like this movie and I want to see this movie get made there's a finite amount of that and if the movie doesn't land you don't get to do that again that's true so yeah, that's so true. i don't so um you know there's some movies that are going whether or not you're you're in it this this happened to be one where my involvement led to it being real so i so i did feel a little bit of that pressure of you know on two levels one just as you know business thing oh it would suck if it didn't land because that I, i'm not sure if i could come back from that and then two it's just embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> It's just embarrassing when nobody wants to buy your movie. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're like, oh man, come on. I don't want to go home and make yeah, brownies. You just shouldn't have any problem with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. I hope. Uh, well, I love also in uh, in uh, in Nacho's work is that, of course, it's weird and it's bizarre and everything. But at the heart of it, there is uh, characters who have their problems. This one is dealing about addiction, and there's always also like a, a reflection on a bigger uh, problem. Here's a butterfly effect, if you want to call it this way. Uh, did you see that too? Is it in the is it in the film? Yeah, it's in him as a human being. Mm -hmm. You know, that, I mean, you've spoken with him. Just he can go from macro to micro as well as anybody I've ever known. And and, and in English, which is, isn't even a sec, you know, a second language. And that it's it's really I, I, I love it. And even even the words in the kind of, he's so conceptual and so visual that when he explains something that that isn't coming natural to you know uh, to say in English, it comes out even more profound in, in its simplicity or, or directness that I think the, the is, is again in short films and, and this you know long short film <laughs> you know, like, uh, does the exact same thing yeah but it, it's, it's I, I really I really have to hand it um, to the European journalists without taking any away from the North American counterpoints the European journalists have picked up on the theme of what you do in your life has uh, global impact um, I haven't been asked about that so I mean maybe it's just virtue that we've all seen the film today or yesterday and we're talking about it today but you've all picked up on that and that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this movie so thank you for noticing that yeah. it's kind of pretty obvious in the film I think no it's one of the one of the one of the things that I think we you know our current political system might be letting down the world by, huh? by not, by not <laughs> the thing I get worried about it's like oh how does this look to other people <laughs> <laughs> like, this looks nuts. Well, I feel. Yeah, let's I talk feel, about it. I feel personally, I mean, I just feel like if it's when if funny when energy comes back to, to haunt you. I've looked at other countries and been like, oh, get it together, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. And now I'm like, sorry, oh, sorry. Um, our our heart does smell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh boy, it Whoops. smells. <laughs> and and it reaches. There far. is a fog going on <laughs> in the bowels of America yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to talk okay, to you. Okay, we're working uh, through it. We're taking probiotics. Yes, please do. <laughs> <laughs> you need a lot of those. <laughs> well, we do too. So anyway. Spring for breeze everywhere. But I really want to talk to the Korean girl who's controlling the Trump monster mm -hmm. <laughs> and doing, making him do that. <laughs> Did you get this idea? Was it coming from you? No, that was in the script. Really? And it was, it, you know, there's, really? a, there's a few touchstones in the movie when I was reading it that made me go, oh, this is, this is so exciting for me personally because I do that in real life. <laughs> it's my nervous <laughs> habit. I have... It, I mean, I, I have like this little patch of short hair on the top of my head because I pull it out and it's a, it's a tick. And um, and so when I read it, I'm like, oh my God, I don't even have to like imagine how to yeah. do this. This just feels okay. right at home. I don't have to research No that. acting required no. for this one. No drama. I actually, uh, on the first day came with this and Nacho goes, oh, actually it's in the front. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. I suppose I can move four inches yeah, for you, Now you're Gloria. Now you're Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> Just took me four inches and I got the character. Yeah, you got a memo, a memo from the uh, monster agent saying, yeah. no, we want it here. No, 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 no. <laughs> little, little more to yeah. back in the crowd. What is showing you what, he, what, what, what was going to happen uh, 
later in post prod and with the special effect did you know exactly how the monster was going to act no I mean, to move no i really didn't <laughs> and the, but a lot of people asked me they said you know this isn't a very big budget movie how are the effects going to be affected by that and i just said to them well it's a very modern movie so most of the time when you see the monster it's on an iphone so yeah. it's gonna be okay and then I just think that aspect of it works so beautifully when you have the iPhone in the foreground and you have me in the background and the monster and me are doing the same thing. I'm charmed by it. I 100%. And he, it was, again, all in his head. Like, he had us there where it's like, I mean, it was on the page in many instances, and then we would do stuff, and you're just like, okay, great. Like, yeah, I'll just do it. Just tell me where you need to be, A to B, and then mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what <laughs> in the middle in between those. And Jason, merci beaucoup. Merci. Parfait. You good? Yep. Merci. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Au revoir. Au revoir. And bravo. Can I stay? One very nice one. Thank you. Okay. okay.